Okay, so we're here again, and on today's episode, we're going to discuss how to jump start your diet. So, let's get into it. Oh, we have sale today. Customer appreciation. 50% off. Apple juice. A lot of benefits. Vitamin C, vitamin K, all that good stuff. Okay, so this basic question has been asked in so many ways, so many times. Um, a lot of persons are confused on how to begin their journey, how to start a diet, how to make adjustments. It's actually quite simple. Um, just don't overthink the process, right? I'm gonna give you a few basic steps. The first step is detoxification. You have to remove the impurities that's been built up in the system, that's been causing classification for over a period of time. Trust me, I know I've been there before. It was hard, it has been hard. It still is hard for a lot of us. Detoxifying the system removes old information. So if you're used to eating a lot of dairy, a lot of starch, a lot of cholesterol foods, a lot of meat, the taste buds, the liver, the colon, uh, the pancreatic system and it has to be cleansed to open for it to be receptive of new information right the second step is a fast the body has to go through a reset fasting does this immaculate I mean you can't ask for a better way for the body to restart to reset you know I mean this is just the best way to start your diet or how to you know, uh, give the body new information consistently. So, what you want to do is go on a fast. You could try the intermittent fast, you could try the annual fast. There's so many fasts out there. Try the one that works best for you. However, we here at Essentially Young Crime always uh, bring forward intermittent fast concept in the conversation when it comes to diet and lifestyle adjustment because it's very simple. There are different ways to do it. You know, you can eat one day. Don't eat the next day until dinner. You can just uh, avoid breakfast uh, and don't eat after sunset. There's so many aspects, the 16 to 18 hour ratio, the 24 hour to one hour ratio, it's a lot. So when you sit with us, we will give you uh, the best option to a, a lifestyle or diet option or a diet choices when it comes to intermittent fasting, all right? The last one is try to eat plant-based at least two to three times every week. At least two to three times every week. Try to consume something that's plant-based, all right? And here's why I say that. And when I say something, I mean for breakfast, plant-based, for the entire day of Monday. We call it here uh, VS Mondays uh, for a lot of persons who are uh, curious about the diet, who are just trying it for the first time. They have no idea what plant-based food tastes like or plant-based options. They've been trying to get healthier. They've been trying to uh, adjust their lifestyle, their diet choices. They're trying to eliminate meat because it's giving them a lot of uh, side effects. There's so many options here. But Meatless Mondays for a lot of persons who does not eat plant-based, here is an option for you to come in and try these foods. So what you want to do is Avoid anything that has high contrast of dairy and animal products, all right? They're gonna be starch here and there in your food and your diet. I know it's hard for all of us to get rid of the starch. I understand that, and that's fine. I like apple juice. <laughs> uh, I think most of us do. Apple juice, it's good for you. Um, so, you wanna avoid those saturated sugars. I wanna say saturated sugars. The sodas, um, the, the granulated sugar, the brown sugar, all of those are horrible. The stevia, horrible. Get rid of those out of the diet. And if you're a person that likes to eat sweet, try to avoid saturated sweets. The cakes and the pastries and the breads and all that stuff. It's not good. Uh, the wheat, it's not good. Oats, it's not good. And we're going to detail that in another video at some point. 
try to avoid the wheat flour, the wheat bread. Those options are not safe. Uh, they're not alkaline. They will affect the system over a period of time. So if you're someone that's trying to address your lifestyle and address your diet options and your choices, uh, you probably have an ailment you're trying to get rid of. Uh, let's say acid reflux or indigestion problems or um, you have uh, asthma, sinus, or it could be a minor flu, or it could be obesity, um, it could be lupus, it could be SDR, STD, it doesn't matter what it is. You're trying to address this diet by simply applying these methods, right? So, those are the three options, as I said before, a detoxification process, which impurifies, cleanse, detox, remove impurities from the system, it removes food that's on digestive, uh, remove uh, mucus and bacteria and, and all these things that's been built up in the system for a period of time and then you will do a fast you could actually do the fast while you're detoxing or it's up to you if you desire to do the fast after you detox where you avoid eating food so it gives the stomach a little more time to to rest and address concerns or health concerns because we all know that most of our sickness starts in the lining of the gut, you know, the stomach lining. Right? You have to remove these things, get it clean and detoxify these things. If the liver is affected and it can't help to remove impurities, you're gonna have problems, you know. You're gonna have bumps and breakouts all over yourself and you're gonna have uh, bacteria built up on the inside, right? And as I said before, try to eat plant-based at least two to three times a week, right? We're not here to take away the things you love. Our job is to help you make healthier choices, all right? Even if it's twice out of the week, I'm quite sure you'll see the benefits. I'm quite sure you'll be happier, you'll feel more energetic, your skin will clear up, your hair will be more shiny and bouncy, a little more healthier. Uh, you'll have healthy teeth. The body will thank you for making these adjustments, all right? So, uh, eating plant based on Mondays, meat as Mondays, eating plant based on uh, Wednesdays is also a good option. Uh, just try it Thursday. Uh, try something new Thursday. I think those are, are perfect options for a lot of us to go through. And on the weekends, you have your choice. You can try our plant based options on pizzas, um, uh, healthy Saturdays, or healthy weekends. And uh, we're going to just give you guys very benefits and options on how to jumpstart your diet. This is just a basic of what you can do. How you could address this information, uh, how not to overthink the process. You may be going for lunch today, you might want to try something like a burger. You know, they have a lot of plant based burgers out there. They have mushroom burgers, we have dry food burgers, uh, we have uh, patties here. There's so many options. You don't have to eat the same thing every day that you're tired of. I mean, think about it aren't you tired of eating chicken every day, every way? Curry, baked, steamed. Um, stuffed, boiled, stewed, like it's, it's just, it's a lot, you know? And the only way you're enjoying the meat is because of the herbs that it's been used to flavor and season the meat, so why not just eat the herbs, you know? I mean, basically that's what it is. It has more flavor, it has more texture, it has more life, it brings more life because they're life, they're food with life, uh, they're food with electrons, I mean, yourself is electron. So those would be your options. So uh, don't overthink the process. Understand how it works and go from there. And I advise you guys to try the apple juice. It's 100% apple juice. Organic. It says no GMO. I hope you all know what that means. And if you don't, shame on you. You should find out. You should walk into the food store and you should address everything. You should look at the information that is there. What is it made from? Because keep in mind, food is information and it's going into the system. It's going to give that cells rapidly information to develop. So you want to make sure you put the right things in. Right? So that's a suggestion. I'm going to sip some more of this while you guys research. And that's it for today's episode on health me as you drop them by there is a way to jump start your diet so until next episode see you guys next time
ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು